Hey, internet. Hi. It's me, Mike. So we are on the way to my brother's house. My brother Brian and his wife Shannon, they're having a baby. More specifically, they're having a boy. Hey, real quick, what's the name of that song that goes dun 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 It is so hot outside. So we are on the way to my brother's house and they actually asked me to build something for the baby. Essentially what it is, is a frame for the baby diaper, baby diaper changing pad. So I'm talking to my brother Brian and I'm telling him, hey, I need some ideas for stuff to build for my YouTube channel. And he's like, hey, why don't you just build this thing? And then as he's describing it to me, I'm like, huh? isn't that just a box? And he's like, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm making in this video, a box. So as I was building this box, I started to have this idea for like a series of videos that I wanted to make. And the idea behind the series is that it kind of explores the different facets of what it means to be a maker. And this is something that I want to periodically build upon and release new episodes, starting with this one called The Gift of Making. Enjoy! Think back to a different time in your life when things were much simpler, when time itself was measured not in dollars and cents, but by the sun's fleeting rays beckoning you to come home. It's in these moments that you experience life most freely, unburdened by notions of wealth and status and all the needless complexities that come with age. What I remember most about this part of my life is not a specific time or place, but a feeling. Tell me if you know the one. Your hand races across the page as you're finally able to free your mind from the stresses of a busy day. On occasion, it slides a bit too far and you wince on the inside, feeling as though you've done something wrong. But who cares about staying inside the lines anyway? You press on. Excitement builds as your work begins to take shape. For this masterpiece is not meant to keep, but to be shared. You see, it's a gift. And in this moment, is a feeling that is forever imprinted upon you. I don't know if there's a single word that captures all of the emotion you feel when you give someone you love something that you made. Something that you imagined and then made real. Something that you touched and toiled over, that you devoted your fullest attention to. Something that is part of you, that you now give to another. How long has it been since you've given someone a gift that you've made with your own two hands? My childhood was filled with these moments, and if I were to guess, I'd say yours were too. But then somewhere along the way, you're converted into the perfect consumer that society tells you to be. And over time, what was once a tradition of compassion and generosity becomes one of obligation and guilt. And I got this for you because my calendar reminded me to, and I didn't put that much thought into it, but societal norms tell me that this is the right thing to do. Oh, and happy birthday. Creativity is lost to consumerism as the act of gift giving becomes devoid of emotion. With every beep, swipe, and... You lose part of yourself. A part that once chased and cherished that fantastic feeling that you get when you make something for another person. Making things for people, things that take time and effort, things that for better or worse don't come with a gift receipt. That simple act has allowed me to reconnect with a feeling I thought I lost many years ago. And though you may be long removed from that time, the feeling is still there inside you, waiting to be rediscovered. Are you ready for some B-roll? Let's do this.
truth is, you were born a maker. Maybe you were born to make. Hey, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and maybe subscribe. Oh yeah, and hit that notification button if you want to get updates on when I'm posting a new video. My goal is to be on like a one video every two week schedule, but we'll see how that goes. Alright, bye.